we're the rice owls. That much is obvious. We all know this. How come we're the rice owls? Well, it goes back to the very early days of uh, planning for the Institute. When Rice's first president, Edgar Odell Lovett, turned his attention to creating the insignia by which this institution would be known, he turned to Ralph Adams Cram, who was the original architect for the first buildings on campus and the designer of the, the campus plan. Cram sent Lovett to a very interesting fellow. Um, he was a heraldry expert in Cambridge, Massachusetts named Pierre de Chagnon La Rose. And in conjunction with Lovett, he designed the first shield that became the centerpiece of Rice's academic seal. And the way they went about inventing insignia for an institution was actually fairly revealing of the, the, the thought process about what the institution would be and how it would relate to the city that it was located in. So, uh, La Rose went and researched the coats of arms of several families named Rice and several families named Houston in order to combine them, elements from their, from their arms, into the shield of the university. The two things that were constant among these different family shields were first, chevrons, and second, birds. Um, it was quickly decided to include two chevrons in the shield. And the birds presented a somewhat different problem. They weren't particularly interesting birds. They were crows or ravens. And Lovett decided that um, the more appropriate bird, a bird with a sort of an academic pedigree, if you will, um, would be the owl of Athena, particularly as it was depicted on a fifth century BC Greek coin, the large eyes and very striking image. When uh, classes opened in the fall of 1912, um, Rice immediately became uh, active in athletics and within a few weeks of the, the opening played their first football game. There was um, a bit of a push by the newspapers uh, to call the team the Grays, based on one of the, the two colors that were adopted, the, the Confederate gray with a tinge of lavender and a blue deeper than the Oxford blue. But it didn't catch on at all. I think the owls are much more um, sort of athletic and almost, you know, kind of they're hunters. The owls are hunters and, and uh, so a more likely mascot for the school's athletic teams.